Hello, hello. It's time for my, my update. So I had my PET scan this week and had my follow-up with my doctor and I have great news. I'm in remission. Um, now the next step is to start with radiation treatments for three weeks. I have an appointment at uh, a different hospital for the radiation treatments because mine doesn't have that capability at the moment. Um, so I'm going for a prep exam next week, more scans, more blood tests. I'll be there for a few hours. Um, but then I start on the radiation and I am almost done with this. I can put it in my rear view mirror soon enough. So I'm really happy about that. Um, it's been quite the journey. It's gone quick, a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Um, started off really easy. I got cocky and, and said, hey, this is no problem. I can do this no problem. Easy peasy. Second one, still pretty easy, a little bit tougher, but still really easy. That last round really beat the snot out of me, though. I really uh, felt it. I'm very, very happy to hear I won't be going through chemo anytime soon. Um, and for the first time in months, I'm actually able to eat real food. I'm not living off of two smoothies a day and copious amounts of chocolate to get rid of that taste in my mouth. Um, I've been eating supper each evening for the past week. So hopefully my not my inability to eat wasn't with uh, due to a, a prior condition, but really just my body not happy with having non Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, so yeah, this this part of the journey is over, and I'm on to the next next oops, next uh, steps of radiation. And then following up with my oncologist after that, and I guess more tests, and then bi-monthly shots in the stomach. Um, just, I don't, I'm sure no one from the hospital is going to see this, but a quick shout out to the nurses, my doctor, and uh, the technicians at, at Sacré-Cœur Hospital. They are just amazing amazing people and uh, I'm gonna make it a point to go back there before May 1st because one of the nurses is retiring and I want to make sure that I get to see her and give her a great big hug uh, along with all of the others um, you know as much as I expected the diagnosis and as much as I have been trying to keep as positive as possible um, it's still when you get the diagnosis for cancer it's still um, scary even even when they tell you it's a curable one um, so I, I, I think when I was told I have cancer that was easier then when mm -hmm. I saw the doctor and she told me that I am in remission, uh, that just, it was phenomenal news, don't get me wrong, but it was, oh my gosh, I've beaten this. I've said all along I was going to beat this, but, you know, there's always that little bit of doubt at the back of your mind. So just a real shout out to the team at, at uh, Sacre Car Hospital. They have been just phenomenal. Really, really good people. And um, I, I owe them a lot. And, and I look forward to seeing them on the other side. <laughs> Um, so that, that's it for now. I'll, uh, post after my, my next doctor's appointment. I think it's on Tuesday or Wednesday. And, uh, 
give you an update on what the next steps are because I'm really not certain what the next steps are with radiation anyway. But um, one last request, the fundraiser that I started for uh, the Canadian Cancer Society. If you haven't made a donation, if you could, it would be greatly appreciated. I don't care if it's a dollar or a thousand dollars, whatever. Um, every dollar helps. And uh, I'm one of the lucky ones. I really am. I, I, I am blessed. I got one that is curable. And a lot of people don't have that. And we need more research and we need, need more resources. So if you can make a donation, it would be appreciated especially for 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 those who don't have a, a cure yet so I'll, I'll put the link in the comments to to the fundraiser um and and if you can make the donation thank you thank you thank you in advance have a great day